Huge Pharma has licensed the restrictive rights to a malignant growth fix utilizing cannabis, keeping others from utilizing THC and CBD to treat the infection. English organization, GW Pharmaceuticals, had recently created cannabis-based medications for different sclerosis and epilepsy. Presently, they hold the rights to treat disease. Rexleaf.com reports, that's correct. Enormous Pharma presently holds the patent for malignant growth treatment utilizing cannabis. Let. That. Sink. In. For. A minute. In 2009, GW went ahead with a patent application, close by Colligo Tsuka Pharmaceutical. Toward the finish of September, GW declared that they had gotten a notice of allowance from the U.S. Patent Office to go ahead with creation of their cannabis-based disease treatment. Sative X. The treatment. Various investigations have demonstrated that cannabis can be utilized to treat malignant growth by killing disease cells and halting metastasis, in many kinds of malignancy. The most recent GW medication will saddle the intensity of THC and CBD to treat gliomas, which are an uncommon type of mind malignant growth. The now licensed pharmaceutical uses a proportion of THC and CBD going from 1 to 1 to 120, THC CBD, to lessen cell reasonability, hinder cell development or diminish tumor volume, as per the organization. It is fascinating to take note of that GW's treatment, Sative X, became out of a long history of preclinical preliminaries and episodic proof that demonstrate the utilization of cannabis and cannabis-based items for tumor decrease. The organization proceeded with clinical preliminaries in August 2018 to test the viability of Sative X. This preliminary will take a gander at viability of Sative X when joined with progressively conventional standard malignant growth medicines. Sative X and the chemotherapy tranquilize, temozlimide has been directed to 20 patients with repetitive glioblastoma multiform, GBM. This is an uncommon and fatal kind of cerebrum malignant growth. The patent. The first patent application was sent in 2009, yet has been accordingly changed to suit FDA prerequisites. Changes would incorporate points of interest like THC and CBD proportions in the prescription, just as the types of disease that state of X might have the capacity to treat. I'm not catching this meaning for cancer research? On the positive side, the patent perceives the estimation of cannabis for malignant growth medications, and not similarly as an approach to neutralize the impacts of chemotherapy and radiation. Cannabis adequacy for slaughtering disease cells should now be perceived on a government level. This likewise considers more choices for disease patients in picking their medications. It's a conceivably energizing time for cannabis look into. Pay special mind to more licenses, progressively clinical preliminaries, and significantly more cannabis-based prescriptions hitting the market. Continue pushing for access to entire plant medication.